Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you a Shopify dropshipping store called Money. And they're only three months old in that very short period. They've gone rapidly to just over 11,000 US dollars in profit each month. This is their Facebook page with 1.9K followers. This is their product page that they've used to generate those sales. And this is the Facebook ad they've used to generate those sales with. These guys are also adopting a monthly subscription with close to $5,000 with monthly recurring revenue. So in its own right, a very, very successful business. In this video, I'm gonna show you their entire setup um, and the exact strategy they've used to get to that level. So if you do like the idea of running your own cosmetic business, it's obviously a massive niche with huge potential, especially this time of year. I'm gonna show you how you can do it and still do it using the dropshipping method as well. So you don't have to pay upfront for a bulk quantity of product. So we'll start by looking at the Shopify store. They're using the Shrine theme, really, really common and popular theme at the moment for good reason. It works really, really well. It's very customizable. It is expensive for the one-off. I believe the pro plan is $350, but in the grand scheme of things, 100% worth it if you ask me. I'm not affiliated. I don't have a link for you to sign up. It's a great theme. And as we go through this product page, you will understand why. So first things first, everything is branded. Everything is in keeping with the theme and the look that they're going for. There's no mismatch with fonts. There's no mismatch with colors. Everything ties in really, really nice. There's not much wasted white space. In fact, none at all really, really, really well put together site. If you're wondering how they create images like this, put in the stars, the icons, the different backgrounds, things like this, which is super, super important, then make sure you check out the video I uploaded yesterday where I show you how to create professional branded product images like this. They follow the format you would have heard me speak about in previous videos when it comes to colors. Three colors is all you need. White for the background, black for the text, and then an accent color for everything else, which is this bluey purpley color they've gone for. Two different options for the customer. Special promo, which is buy one get one free, which is quite expensive at 40 pounds, or you can subscribe and for just for 28 pounds, you can have one every single month. So it's quite a big saving, a $15 saving if you subscribe. There's gonna be a lot of people that opt into this and think I'm gonna take advantage of that cheaper price and then probably forget to cancel. We've all done it before and signed up to things, whether it's products, whether it's subscriptions for Netflix or things like that, and then forgot to cancel when we've, mean, when we've meant to. What's really good about this site and the way it's put together is it's a social proof overload. I cannot stress, I haven't seen the store you're currently running, but if it's not producing the results you hoped for, then I would probably guess 70% of the reason of that is down to lack of social proof. Everything they have on this site, look, is social proof. 300K sold, 4.8 out of five stars. They do a really, really good job of humanizing the brand. There's lots and lots of different faces, over 300,000 happy customers. 92% said these three different sections here are three different people talking about the product. They have the actual product in hand, another person that's used the product. On the Shrine theme, you can get that um, functionality where you can like drag a slider. If it was me, I'd probably play around with that because I think it's quite fun and engaging for consumers, but I'm not gonna take it away from these guys. They're obviously making this site work really, really well. Social proof, again, a doctor that looks like a dermatologist with the logo on the bib. More and more social proof, they do a really good job of humanizing the brand. When I show you the video I created they're using, like I was skeptical, but when you see just how much social proof, and given my experience and how long I've been in the dropshipping space as well, even I was starting to believe that this product does exactly what it says. If we actually jump onto their Facebook page too, I mean, they only have one review, but it is a positive one. And you don't see that very often for dropshipping stores. So this is a brilliant brand with a brilliant product, tons and tons of social proof. And this is why they have seen that success. Like I said, if your store isn't, hasn't worked out up to this point, it's probably down to lack of social proof. So invest the money. These guys, could be real customers, they could be influencers, they could be UGC creators, either way, it doesn't matter. When the consumer comes on and sees three people talking about the product, that's not what's going through their head. It's diminishing any kind of um, hesitations that they might have about the product, and that is key, that is 100% key. You might be thinking, how are they drop shipping this product? You can see if we get a clearer one that they've got the actual logo on the cream too. The way you do this is you go onto Google and you search for white label or private label cosmetics. Self-named, these guys here, I'm not affiliated, it's just for example purposes. These guys offer that service. So you come onto here, you search what you're looking for, whether it's face care, body care, hair care, could be anything. Um, they do lots of other stuff too for men and women, hair related, that sort of thing. He selects the products, obviously, but so like hyaluronic acid face cream for men. Hyaluronic acid is like a big buzzword. You'll see the big, like blue chip cosmetic companies talking about these ingredients. So it allows you to sell. I mean, I'm no expert, of course, but 
what to me at least looks like an on par product with your own brand on, which obviously looks really, really professional. So you select the products, you design your labels, and you can put it on your website like these guys have to give off the impression that you're a really big and established brand. They do, in fact, offer a drop shipping service as well. Look, no upfront costs, integrate with your store, direct to customer, drop shipping, no order minimums. So you're not having to commit for big quantities upfront before you even know whether the product's going to sell or not. You get to kind of test that proof of concept and find out if it's going to work before investing lots and lots of money. Shipping to 30 plus countries worldwide. Most of the people who watch my videos are based in the UK, Australia, and the US and Canada. So no issues there if you wanted to check out Self Named um, and see if they've got the particular products that you're looking for. The beauty of running a business like this as well, when you do have a supplier that takes care of all of the fulfillment, and obviously when you're running ads, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, your ads are still delivering, bringing in those the sales. It's just look at this, the business requires very little to keep running smoothly with minimal time commitment of just one hour per day. Ideal venture for anyone looking for mo low maintenance operations. So these guys are pulling in, was it 10K profit month, 11K profit per month, working just one hour per day. So it is possible to get to these levels, but you need the right strategy. At the end of this video, I'll take you through a step-by-step -step of what they've done so you can follow the same steps, follow the same steps, follow the same action. Tag audience for this business, age 35 plus and women, and currently 100% of the customer base is in the USA. So if it was me, and I wanted to start a cosmetics business, I would take the premise and the fundamentals and ultimately the strategy these guys have used, but I would take it to a country that isn't in the USA and I would do it in my own unique way. If we jump onto the Facebook ads library, they're currently only running one particular ad. They've spent over 30 grand as well that they've put into this ad when I checked the numbers, if we just come down um, here, so marketing 30 grand a month. And I believe the majority of that is going into Facebook too. And this is what an ad looks like so straight away into a testimonial with the quotation marks instantly it's going to get somebody's um what's the word not arousal suspicion but when somebody says something like i threw away my most expensive cream for this instantly it's going to make you think well that must be awesome what is it i need to find out what it is and then this is the video so i can't play the the sound but it has got the subtitles and it does a really good kind of like before and after effect and with, with things like this, I am naturally hesitant about how how true it is, but it does a really good job of like putting across what it, who it's for and what it actually does and the significant difference it makes. So look at her neck there, like smooth, and then look at it before. Like anybody watching this video is naturally gonna be hesitant, but then when they come onto the website, they see all this social proof and the hundreds of thousands of customers and there were some big name brands as well, name dropped in Style Faux and Cosmopolitan. That's another like common strategy I see a lot of dropshipping stores now using. All these different people talking about it, all the different before and afters. And the product is only $40. Like it's worth a stab, isn't it? If, if the potential um, is, is what it shows in this video. So all in all, everything adds up to a really effective business with huge, huge potential. These guys in the US, they've only been going for three months. This could quite easily and quickly become like a 20, 30, 40 grand monthly recurring business in my opinion. So um, yeah, really, really, really good, successful store and a lot to learn from. Okay, so how did they do it? Before we get into it though, I just wanna take 30 seconds of your time um, to let you know about my community, Real Dropshipping. So when I started dropshipping back in 2016, I didn't have hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to invest into a mentorship that I weren't 100% sure if it was gonna work out or not. So this is why I created the Real Dropshipper community. It comes with a free seven day trial. So in those seven days, if I just show you the about page, for free, 100% free in those seven days, you get access to unlimited store reviews, unlimited ad reviews, um, an awesome community, seven figure training, weekly Q and A's, everything you possibly need to build a successful business, 100% free for seven days. After that, it's gonna be less than your phone bill each month at only $49 and you can cancel at any time. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you go and check it out. Just to show you some of the recent posts as well, just to show you the awesome community we have. There's lots of fun things and giveaways like November giveaways. This is Hamed from last month. Um, he won a free t-shirt that got delivered to him a few days ago. So he posted this image of him, of, of him wearing it. Um, it is just really close knit, really supportive community. Everybody's in the same boat. We have James recently who passed 500 pound mark in sales and he's actually done over 1K now. Really, really awesome community. Go and check it out, free seven day trial. Got nothing to lose, absolutely zero risk. So how do they do it? Well, first things first is they started with a product that solves a pain point. So obviously as women get older, um, well not just women, but men as well, of course, um, 
they develop wrinkles and it's a pain point that most people at that age want to want to solve and it's also a pain point that a lot of people spend a lot of money to solve and it's also a product that is consumable too so that's why they're able to offer that subscription service so they take a pain point so another one for example with cosmetics if you didn't want to do neck cream it could be cream for under the eyes it could be cream for the forehead there's lots and lots of different products next thing they invested in was social proof they probably spent in the region of like $500 on social proof, getting three different people. I mean, they could be customers, but most likely they're UGC creators or influencers. And they've probably paid these guys to produce these videos and probably the same thing for the ad creative too. And it's probably cost them in the region of like $500. And you might be thinking that's a lot of money to risk up front. It is, but the payoff when it works out, well, these guys are making 10 grand profit per month. So the payoff far outweighs what the potential risk is and investment cost up front, in my opinion. So the pain point is the social, so they've picked a product that solves a pain point. They've invested in terms of social proof. They've invested in the Shrine theme, which is, I think it's anywhere from $50 to $350. Um, I think they have an intermediate that's like 200 or 150. Um, to me, this looks like, it could be the intermediate one, to be honest. So they probably spent, I'm gonna put 150 here for this one. They obviously have a UGC ad as well. This isn't a viral e-com ad. It's not recycled content online. It's a private label product. In fact, I'm gonna put this up here too, private labeled product. So it separates themselves from anyone else drop shipping anything. It's a UGC ad, which they probably paid $150 for. And then that, that's everything they've done. Like if you're gonna follow the same process, pick a product that solves a pain point, get a product that's private labeled, invest in social proof, get a good theme, get a good ad, and then as for the ad strategy, to be honest, given my results recently, the strategy you follow isn't that important really. As long as you do all of the other things really, really well, then when people see it, they're going to buy it regardless of whether you use interests, whether you go broad, whether you use CBO or whether you use ABO. But what's more important is the, ing the ingredients that go into it. It doesn't matter what process you follow, as long as you're putting good ingredients into the recipe that you're making, then in the end, it's gonna turn out and it's gonna taste pretty good. So <laughs> that's my metaphor for the day. That's it for the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Any comments or questions, just post them down below. Cheers.